Hey guys, welcome back to my financial focus. In this video, I'm going to talk about the long straddle options trading strategy. This strategy basically allows us to profit from large price movements in either direction, either up or down. And it also allows us to profit from an increase in implied volatility. So basically how we open a long straddle in Robinhood is basically by buying a call option and a put option at the same strike price and same expiration date. So in this case, for example, what we would do is we would buy a 115 strike call and then we would buy a 115 strike put and this would give us our long straddle options trading strategy. And basically, as we can see right here, the max loss of the strategy, as we can see right here, is basically the cost of the call and the put option combined. And so how that works is we can see right here the 115 call is worth $1,180 and the 115 put is worth $1,143. And so if we add the cost of those two options together, we get the total cost, which is $2,323, which is our max loss. So whatever the debit is that we incur for the strategy, that is our maximum loss potential. But the advantage that comes with the long straddle is that we have unlimited profit potential. And that's basically because we're basically holding two naked options positions, one naked call and one naked put. And so since we're holding two naked positions, basically there is no cap on however much we could profit. We can see right here that as the share price increases, the premium of the options contracts also increases as it gets further away from the share price from 11 to 14 to 17 to 21. And the same thing with the put contract as the share price decreases and the strike price of the put option gets further away from the share price, the premium of the put contract increases from 11 to 14 to 17 to 20 and so on. <clears throat> but the reason why we have unlimited profit potential with the long straddle, as opposed to a strategy like the long iron condor, as we can see right here, is because the long straddle does not have any short options, whereas the long iron condor does have short options. <clears throat> And so basically, it's almost like a double-edged sword. The short option has a benefit and a disadvantage. The benefit is that the, well, let me start with the disadvantage. The disadvantage is that the contract has obviously capped profit, and that's because the max profit of the long iron condor, and I'm using the long iron condor as an example because we can see from the graphs that it's a pretty similar strategy. But the disadvantage of the short option with the long iron condor is that the difference between the strike price of the short option and the long option, that is the max profit of the long iron condor. So in this case, it would be 500 because the difference between 13,500 and 1,300 is 500. So it's just 500 times however many long iron condor positions one would open. That's going to be their max profit. But the advantage that comes from using a short option in this case is the value that we lose from theta decay. And so I talked about how in a previous video, the long iron condor doesn't really suffer as much from a decrease in value as a result of the passing of time. <clears throat> and that's because with the long iron condor, we have a long option and a short option. And remember with theta decay, the closer we get to expiration date with each passing day, the premium of the options contract loses value equivalent to the amount of theta. So basically in this case, this contract is worth $5.93. And so it would lose seven cents per day as we get closer to expiration. But since we're shorting an option, that's like basically right next to the strike price of the long option, the theta that gets lost on the value of the short option is value that we end up collecting. And so we're collecting six cents per day with the short option, and we're losing about seven cents per day with the long option. And so since we don't have a short option with the long straddle, 
all we're doing is losing seven cents per day. We're not collecting any value that's canceling out the value that we're losing from holding a long position. So obviously, just to sum up, the advantage from not having a short position is that we have unlimited profit, but the disadvantage is that we have greater exposure to theta decay. So how one would lose money, which is the next part that I want to touch on, if they're opening up a long straddle, is basically if the share price trades sideways. If the share price of the underlying, in this case Alibaba, were to just trade sideways and there were no significant price movements before expiration date, then this strategy would just continue to lose value to theta decay until it eventually just expired worthless. And so how we would make money is in two ways. Either if the share price of the underlying increases drastically or decreases drastically, or if the implied volatility of the contracts increases, increases the value of the premium faster, then the value would decrease as a result of theta decay. And so in this case, let's say the underlying share price increased a lot. The depreciation from the put option, because obviously when the underlying share price increases, the put option decreases in value. The depreciation in the value of the put option would be less if the share price of the underlying increased compared to the appreciation of the call option if the underlying share price increased. And then vice versa, if the put option increased in value, it would increase in value faster than the call option would lose value. So we can see right here, the call option loses like 200 here, 200 here, 200 here, and then about 100 here when the share price decreases in value. Whereas with the put option, if the share price decreases in value, the put option gains like 300 here, 300 here, 300 here, and 400 here. So over time, the as the share price of the underlying increases or decreases, the appreciation from the option that is increasing value as a result of the favorable movement will appreciate faster than the depreciation of the other option that will decrease in value as a result of the unfavorable movement. And so let's say, for instance, that the call option, for example, appreciated in value quite a bit before expiration date. Let's say it was like March and the person holding the long straddle wanted to close their position. All they would have to do to close their position before expiration date is just do the opposite of whatever it was they did to open the position. So in this case, since we bought a call option and bought a put option, all we would have to do to close the long straddle is just sell our call and sell our put at whatever the market price was at that time. So even if we're not profitable before expiration date and we're experiencing a loss because the share price of the underlying traded sideways, all we would have to do is just sell the call and the put, whether we're selling it at a loss or we're selling it at a profit. That's all we would have to do to close this position before expiration date. And the last thing that I want to touch on is probably a question that I'm going to get a lot of in the comments section, which is the effect that earnings announcements have on a long straddle. So typically with earnings announcements, like when a company like Alibaba or Google or something were to announce like their earnings, sometimes when that happens, there can be a sharp price movement of the underlying share price. And obviously with a long straddle, that's what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to experience a sharp price movement in order to experience a profit of our unlimited profit. But the thing that people have to take into consideration with earnings announcements is that when companies get close to earnings, the implied volatility of their options increases because traders and investors are expecting the underlying to move quite a bit. And so the implied volatility of these options contracts increases. And when implied volatility increases for long positions, the premium also increases in value. So basically what I'm trying to say here is as soon as the earnings announcement is called and the share price of the underlying moves significantly in either the up or down direction, the implied volatility is going to decrease right back to like a very low number. 
And when that happens, it's going to have a negative impact on the premium of the option. And so in order to profit from an event like this, the appreciation of the options contract as a result of the movement, which is basically just the delta value, would have to be greater than the depreciation of the options premium as a result of a decrease in implied volatility, which is vega. So basically delta would have to have a greater effect on the options price than vega would. That would be the only way that somebody would be able to profit from an earnings announcement. Because otherwise, if the share price doesn't move enough after an earnings announcement, then the premium is definitely going to decrease because implied volatility is going to decrease no matter what. And so it's important to realize that just buying a long straddle before earnings announcement is not necessarily going to guarantee a profit. And so just to conclude with the long straddle, it's an unlimited profit position because we don't have any short positions. We're basically just holding on to a long call and a, another naked long put. But because there are no short positions, we have greater exposure to theta decay, which in comparison to the long iron condor, we don't have exposure that much to theta decay because we're collecting theta while simultaneously losing value on theta. Whereas with the long straddle, all we're doing is losing value on theta. So it's a trade-off for anybody who's looking to open up a long straddle versus like a long iron condor or another like position that doesn't really lose much value to theta. All they have to consider really is if they're willing to trade off the benefit of not really losing value to theta for the benefit of having unlimited profit. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video.